Hey guys, old chap Burton here, and we're gonna do another. Well, first of all, what the hell? That's a bit better. Hey guys, old chap Burton's here, and um, we're doing Crusader Kings 2, a Game of Thrones modification for all this. We're playing on um, the newest update, which is a little bit buggy. I've had a quick go of it, and it is. Uh, it's certainly trying to improve, but yeah, it needs testing a little bit more. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to play through a little bit. So let's have a look. So hopefully you watched the last video in which I explained the basics of warfare. What we're going to do now is we're going to play a smaller actual kingdom itself. More of a, more of a lordship itself. So let's have a look. We're going to go down to Dawn. Um, let's have a look at the time frames. New in this mod, just so you know, we've got a Feast of Crows. Or a Feast of Four Crows, I'm sorry. Now rather than go ahead and play with that, that might actually put some spoilers in it for people who are just watching the TV show. I might do a later series where it focuses on the Feast of Crows. It shows what characters are in, what position, who's lived, who's died, that sort of thing. But for now, we'll go with Clash of Kings. I'm going to go with Tor. Now I'll tell you in a moment while I've picked this, I'm just going to let it load up. You see it's a little bit slow here. First things first, let me get rid of that music. So it's one of many updates they've done, but I really don't like it. <laughs> In fact, let's get rid of it altogether. Right, here we go. So we've got our usual screen here. We're going to start with a long summer. And we'll make sure everything's paused, just while I give you a bit of history about Tor. Now the reason why I've picked the Tor is because it's the land of Mr. Trebo, Lord Trebo. His surname, his family's name, is Jordan. Now, George Martin is a massive fan of the Wheel of Time book series, and that's been written by a gentleman by the name of Robert Jordan. So you can see, Trebor is Robert, obviously backwards. Um, Jordan is the Westerosi version of Jordan, and the Tor is the book publisher of a Wheel of Time series. So that's why I've picked them, and we'll see how we'll get on. So, as we can see here, I have a wife and two daughters. Um, it doesn't appear as if any of which are married. My aim of this is pretty much what it says right there. I want to rule Dawn, but I'm going to start by trying to take you onwards. Now, if anyone doesn't know the history between Yormwood and the Martells, who ruled Dawn, uh, the Red Viper um, was responsible for the death of one of the former leaders of Yormwood. Apparently, he found the leader of Yormwood at the time had found uh, the Red Viper in bed with his mistress, challenged him to a duel. They got in a big scrap. Um, it was only to first blood, though, so no one was actually supposed to die. But it is said that after the Lords of Yonwood got cut, his wound festered and he died. So there's a bit of bad blood between those two there. It's also one of the ways the Red Viper got his reputation with poisons. Right, so let's go ahead now. Let's see who we've got. Okay, we've got really poor stealing. Have we got anyone better? No, right, I think that's going to be my first job. Let's try and find someone a bit better. Ah, they have changed some of the things on there. Show me the dragons so we know who's got them so I can try and steal them now. Let's see who's available for my daughters to marry. It's a little bit odd that we've got Oberyn Martell there, because he's famous for having uh, mistresses. 
Brynden Blackfish Tully. Uh, if you read the books, you know he's probably not interested in my daughters. Can have a fray. Ideally, I want to marry them to someone who's in Dawn. I've got any daughters. What is it with Dawn and everyone having daughters? No sons. Oh, there's a son. Oh, he's married. What? Let's go ahead and fabricate some claims. Let's train some troops. And we're going to send someone over to sabotage the economy as well. So obviously just to give you a bit of an overview, Joffrey is still in the Iron Throne. We're just about to start the War of the Five Kings, so we'll start to see people pop up. Um, what I'll do is, I'm just going to start this, and put this on two, three, Oh, apparently I'm incompetent, so let's have a look at that. Yes, indeed I am. Um, okay, it doesn't appear as if they've got a very high opinion of me. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's have a look why. Oh, because I've got a woman as an heir. Right, okay. Oh, obviously because I'm playing as a smaller kingdom. Oh, that's interesting. Now, if you've read the books, um, this doesn't go to plan. So I'm going to stay out of that for now. Everyone's joining, it looks like. My words. Well, it looks like Dawn is united, well, pretty much anyway. We won't be joining that just yet. Now let's have a look at this. We have to start some sort of plot to try and gain some uh, momentum here. Let's see what we've got here. Now he's not married. Let's see if we can get him. And that should get me them as an alliance. Okay, let's go for that. She's a bit old. Now the strange thing about this is normally I would be marrying my daughter to this gent, but in Dawn, these two come before him. So unless I plan on killing these two, it's not really going to go to plan with him. God Grace. Now he's the heir, and he's also married. 
Okay, one's enough for now. Oh well, I'm in Dawn, so I don't want to mace there and I don't want to Scepter. I don't really have the money to run anything like that right now, so I'm going to give that a rest. Let's have a look at the dragons, who have we got? Ambition, eh? Uh, and all honestly, I think we could do with having a son. So. Come on, Anara, I know you thought you won, but you can still get uh, get me a son. There we go, look at that. Hedonism, plus 20%. Oh, I don't know, we've got a claim that can be pressed here. On. That's certainly interesting, I can press that straight away, but I don't want to run into things. She's gonna have. Oh, let's have a look what she got. But she's got a lot of cities. So she'll have a good number of men from that. I do not, however. About 2,000 mercenaries. What can I get? So obviously my long term goal is Jornwood because it's the second most powerful um, place in Dawn after the Martels and Sunspin. In order to take Jornwood I'm going to have to take Ghost Hill and maybe one or two other reasons because Jornwood will be extremely powerful. Right Dave accepted. So I should have a new alliance. Excellent. Let's have a look here. Independent. Diplomatic. So we can see straight away. I'm all good. Can be caught a war. So we've got our first ally here. Oh, okay. Let's see if any of these have a... Uh... No, they don't. A lot of females in, uh, in Dawn. Okay, nothing I can do with that. For now, my heir is going to have to remain unmarried, which is probably a good thing because it means that uh, people can't come after me. As soon as my coins get up to 80, I'm going to press my claim on Ghost Hill. Uh, with my army and mercenaries if need be. Depends how many allies they've got. Oh, that's okay. She's already been promoted. Oh no. Master at Arms is dead. Right, 
that's not it. Didn't work out too bad after all. <laughs> no. So in regards to this series, we're probably going to do a couple of 10 to 15 minute videos just based on the actual uh, the game itself. Obviously, it's not going to be a long series because we are playing as the Tor and not one of the big, you know, the Starks or the Lannisters, anything like that. So what you will see is I'll be a little bit reckless in some of my actions. And that's when to speed up the gameplay and the end result, hopefully. Okay, looks like I've got the first plot against me. Oh, it's disappeared already. Excellent, dealt with. Didn't even have to do anything. Speed this up a bit. I want to get my coins all the way up to 70. Here we go, let's press the claim. Oh, she's in prison as well, lovely. Let's call on my allies. Got 961, it's not too bad. My allies are coming to help me, fantastic. Doesn't look like I'll need those uh, mercenaries after all. Let's combine my army, let's go ahead and take them out, speed it up a little bit. I have no idea what this is about. Let's go with honest. Ah, well played, well played. So I've won that. Um, oh, I see her. Is it wrong to attack a lady? Well, I don't know. I am terrible as well. I can't go after her, I'll probably die. Of course I'll find you someone nice, darling. Let's finish them off. As you can see, I've already 100% won, uh, but I just want to uh, continue. Stop any form of resistance, should I say? Looks like they're coming back across now.
Oh, wow. The leader of Dawn would like to marry my daughter. Hmm. Certainly interesting. Let's go for it. Yes, let's take the money. So we've won. Fantastic. So that means that now she falls under us, which is great. Right, I can press some uh, claims on Gaston Grey now. Let's go ahead. Of course I'll attend the wedding. It's my daughter. I don't think I'll need any help this time, but let's uh Off we go. What? I had a lovely dancing partner and after some wine we were both a bit drunk and if the situation correctly, more than attracted to each other. What, I was attracted to Dora Marta? I don't think so. Let the battle begin. Reinforcements need to hurry up. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Just in time, guys, just in time. Save my life. Well, I've won that one, it looks like, as well. Fantastic. Let's offer these guys peace. It's not going too bad so far. I've got these four. I've got a wedding pack with them. And next I think it'll be on to Yarnwood. So I think that's going to be the end of this video. Um, obviously I've uh, made an alliance, doubled my holdings, uh, so my power base is uh, getting quite established. Okay guys, well thanks very much for watching and um, I'll put up a new episode soon.